pass the floor to the representative from India. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank Special Representative Ms. Deborah Leons for her briefing. I join the others in extending our unflinching support to the work done by UNAMA in these challenging times. India has consistently called for a central role of the United Nations in Afghanistan. I also thank the other briefers for their remarks and insights. We have witnessed dramatic changes in the situation in Afghanistan over the course of the last month. The Security Council met thrice in August and has collectively pronounced on the prevailing situation. In particular, the UN Security Council Resolution 2593 on Afghanistan clearly sets out the Council's expectations on a range of critical and immediate issues. As Afghanistan's neighbor, we were privileged to preside over the adoption of a substantial and forward-looking product of the Council on Afghanistan. It took into account some of our collective concerns, in particular on terrorism, where it noted the commitment of the Taliban not to allow the use of the Afghan soil for terrorism, including from terrorists and terrorist groups designated under Resolution 1267. It has underlined the, that Afghan territory should not be used to threaten or attack any country or to shelter or train terrorists or to plan or to finance terrorist acts. As witnessed from the deplorable terrorist attack at Kabul airport last month, terrorism continues to pose a serious threat to Afghanistan. It is therefore important that commitments made in this regard are respected and adhered to. UN Security Council Resolution 2593 also took note of the Taliban statement that Afghans will be able to travel abroad in an unhindered manner. We hope that these commitments will be adhered to, including regarding the safe, secure, and orderly departure from Afghanistan of Afghans and all foreign nationals. Mr. President, the situation in Afghanistan continues to be very fragile. As its immediate neighbor and friend to its people, the current situation is of direct concern to us. Uncertainties abound about the future of the Afghan people, as well as about sustaining and building on the gains achieved over the last two decades. In this context, we reiterate the need for the voices of Afghan women to be heard, aspirations of Afghan children to be realized, and the rights of minorities to be protected. We call on humanitarian assistance to be provided urgently and underline the need to provide unhindered access to UN and other agencies in this regard. India calls for an inclusive dispensation in Afghanistan which represents all sections of Afghan society. A broad-based, inclusive and representative formation attained through an inclusive negotiated political settlement would gain greater international acceptability and legitimacy. Mr. President, Afghanistan has already seen enough bloodshed and violence in recent years. We call on the international community to come together, rising above any partisan interests, to stand together with the people of Afghanistan in their desire for peace, stability, and security in the country. We need to enable all Afghans, including women, children, and minorities, to live in peace and dignity. During Council's last discussion on Afghanistan, when Secretary General had also contributed with his valuable insights, he had called upon the need for international community to speak in one voice on the evolving developments in Afghanistan. Perhaps it is more important for us to adhere to Secretary General's call, both in letter and in spirit, for the benefit of the people of Afghanistan. We therefore call upon all members of the Council that when we decide on the future of UNAMA mandate, we keep our focus centered on Afghan people and their expectations from the international community to stand by them in this hour of crisis. India has contributed significantly over the last decade to the development of Afghanistan. In this context, Indian development projects have been undertaken in critical areas of power, water supply, road connectivity, health care, education, agriculture, and capacity building. India's emphasis has been on the welfare and well-being of the people of Afghanistan. 
India has undertaken more than 500 development projects in each of the 34 provinces of Afghanistan. We had also extended humanitarian assistance through the delivery of 75,000 tons of wheat last year to Afghanistan. We hope that these development projects and the education and human resource development imparted by India over the years will help in contributing to the development of an inclusive and progressive polity. I thank you, Mr. President.